Buongiorno amici, buongiorno Hi to all our friends from Italy together Today we are here in the beautiful city of Genova And with this video we will walk around and visit this amazing city The historical center of Genova is also UNESCO heritage site So we will start our tour from the train station And then we will arrive here in the Porto Antico and we will walk in the Porto Antico during the evening because it's very active especially during the night time with a lot of restaurants and bars where you can go so let's uh, start guys our tour here in Genova and below in the description of the video we leave you the link for uh, the excursions for the tours here in the city of Genova and also the link of the hotel where I'm staying for my tour here in Genova. We'll also see our uh, my room here in Genova and I hope you will like the video. A lot of contents, a lot of beautiful streets, churches and shops. So let's start guys our tour here in Genova. Andiamo amici, let's walk all together in the amazing city of Genova. Andiamo. Here I have a map, my friends, for the uh, for Genova so I can show you where we are and what we will uh, see in this uh, video so we will start uh, walking in Via Baldi from the train station to Via Garibaldi where there are a lot of buildings that are UNESCO uh, sites then we will uh, walk around the uh, historical center of Genova we will uh, go in via San Lorenzo visit the cathedral also the church of San Luca the church of dell'Annunziata a lot of uh, places we will see in this video and then also Piazza de Ferrari we will walk in the antico porto so the old port of uh, uh, Genova because it's very beautiful especially during the sunset time and then in the evening we will walk from Piazza delle Erbe around the historical center of Genova. I hope you will like the video right now we are uh, in the Darsena and uh, as you can see Genova it's very very nice and very easy to visit because for example from here to go in the center it takes uh, three minutes so everything is at a walking distance you can easily move around and very fast here you have an hotel for example the NH collection hotels so if you, you decide to stay here for example then you cross the street and you are in the center of uh, Genova so let's start uh, guys our tour here in the beautiful city of Genova Here we are in the train station of Genova, so the central train station of Genova. This is the bus stop and then this is the entry of the station. And here, just in front of the station, this beautiful statue to Cristoforo Colombo. Very, very nice. And then from here, you keep walking and you are in the center of the beautiful Genova and the beautiful streets of the historical center of the city.
Here we are in front of the church of uh, Annunziata del Bastato. So the train station is at the end of uh, this uh, street. You also see the train station from here. So you walk five minutes and you are in front of this amazing church here in Piazza del Bastato. So now we go inside. I want to show you this beautiful church and then we keep walking on this direction to arrive to the historical center of Genova. very nice and very lucky today because it's a very wonderful and sunny day
guadagnare ieri nel largo della zecca e qui c'è questa place over here you enter in via Cairoli and then you will arrive in the center in the historical center of Genoa this is a nice street because it's pedestrian so you can walk, enjoy the shops have some coffee or some food and uh, keep going around the Genova Sì, sì, ok, la posso richiamare? 
Sì, sì, si esce di là poi.
Now we are really in the historical center of Genoa. It's UNESCO heritage site. Via 20 September is full of buildings that we have visited, that are UNESCO sites. And here are the amazing streets of the center. And look here, this man sinking in the square. We are here in front of the hotel Best Western Plus. This is my hotel for tonight. It's very nice in a very good position because we are not exactly in the center, but you take this street one minute and you are in the historical UNESCO site of Genova. The hotel has also a restaurant, Restaurant Il Pesciolino. You can have your food inside or outside but now let's go and see the hotel how it is the rooms and i hope you will like i will also leave you the link uh, in the description below if you wanna book this hotel you will find the link on the description of the video so you see the location it's very calm relaxing there is another italian brasserie club la dida over here where you can also have some food and here the entry of the hotel. So this is our room, the room 325. And it's a, a nice room, clean, new, I must say. For one person it's perfect because uh, it's uh, with everything you need to relax yourself here in the room. The, the bed is quite comfortable and uh, soft. I like uh, when it's uh, soft and then you have a nice uh, TV, air conditioning of course and then you have some chocolates, some chips, the locker over here and then you have some drinks in case you wanna have something during the, the night and then outside you have also the, the window that goes on Via 25 Aprile that it's down there and then let's check out the toilet. The toilet is also very new and clean, I must say. So for 111 euros, it's a very good hotel in a very good position. 
clean. I don't have the breakfast included because I like to have breakfast outside the hotel, but the room it's uh, it's okay. Clean. There, uh, there is no noise around as you can hear. Very calm and very beautiful. So I will leave you the link in the description in case you want to book this hotel. Ciao ciao. Wow guys, and here we are in Piazza Ferrari, very, very nice Piazza, Raffaele de Ferrari, it's very beautiful, you see here this uh, wonderful fountain in the center of uh, the Piazza of the Square and then the building of the Regione Liguria on this side and the beautiful buildings around the piazza very very nice place and then from here we keep walking to the Porto Antico and we keep going around and enjoying this wonderful city of Genova
Wow guys, and we arrived here in Piazza San Lorenzo and Piazza San Lorenzo you will find this beautiful in Piazza San Lorenzo you will find the beautiful cathedral of San Lorenzo amazing, the main church of Genova, it's very very beautiful now we will go inside and I will show you also the church from the inside because it's very nice and uh, here it's uh, Via San Lorenzo that goes from Piazza de Ferrari till the Antico Port, till the old uh, harbor of uh, port of uh, uh, Genova but it's uh, nice uh, the square uh, it's very nice here in Piazza San Lorenzo because you see you have some bars they have some cafe so you can sit here in the square and enjoy this wonderful atmosphere and this wonderful church the church of San Lorenzo so now we go inside and I will show you the church from the inside
Salve. Oggi abbiamo invertito
Chodíme to. Na lepotu i.
Okay. Allora io farei una cosa, capisci che sono tante, tu ti metti qua giù, guardatelo bene, se non avete cambiato con lui, lui ha un mazzo di doppi, fallo vedere, enorme, qualcuno la trovate di sicuro, quindi venite a scambiare con lui qua sotto, così lo aiutate, così non ce l'hanno, vai. Dov'è il mazzo sospeso? Come non ce n'è più? Mi siete presi tutto il mazzo sospeso? Avete ancora un mazzo sospeso? Ma come lo riportate? Che così serve anche qualcun altro. Ma grazie mille, un altro pacco di figurine che finisce di tanto il mazzo sospeso, signori. Vado, buona figurina al cielo, c'è il mio figurino senza niente. Vado, buona figurina al cielo, verso il mazzo sospeso. E vado, senza niente. Thank you. 
Guys, this is uh, 
Genova at night time. So you come here in the center of the city where uh, there are all the small narrow streets where you can only walk and then you find a lot of these restaurants. Look here, there are different, there are uh, different uh, bars and restaurants that they serve uh, food on the street, on the, on the square. It's very nice. For example, also here, Bar Trattoria da Giulio. Look how beautiful it is here. You have some pasta for 8 euros or for example, you can have some uh, spaghetti al pomodoro, 5 euros, caprese, for example, 6 euros, misto di formaggi, 7 euros. So this is, is, uh, this is one option, but they are really different. Let's walk a bit so you can have an idea of how it is Genova at night time in the small and narrow streets of the center. Also here, for example, look, there are some, some places where you can have some food. Look, you see cuochi, cibo and vino, and you can eat inside or here in the street. It's also quite nice and romantic, I must say. And another one here, in prosciutteria, i filari di Nabot, also a nice place and looks also nice uh, location and look here there are, they have the menu but then you can also have some food like antipasti for 14 euros or primo risotto carnaroli mantecato with gamble with shrimps 15 euros so good prices but uh, the location it's very nice or here you can have, for example, some focaccia, some easy food, let's say, focaccia with the cooked ham for four years. Or minestrone alla genovese con bricchetti e pesto di pra for six euros. So these are the streets that you will find here in Genova in the old part of the city so let's walk a little bit more here and then we go to see piazza delle erbe at night time and uh, the uh, porto antico the old port this another nice bar here in this historical building another one is here also in this historical place look the mean 20 this was actually Michelin 2022 and here you have some menu for example Fish and chip, 20 euros. Dessert starting from 10 euros, so, but very nice. Also the location, because it's just here in the center of uh, Genova. And in this direction, we will arrive in uh, We will arrive till the old port, but on the way you see la bucata, la buca di San Matteo. Also here, very beautiful. And then you have some selection of primi for 15 or 20 euros. Baccalà for 50, for 18 euros. Frit di mare, so grilled uh, fried fishes for 22 euros. Here in the ristorante, la buca di San Matteo. Wow, 
and look here guys and here we are in piazza di San Matteo so nice and amazing the city of Genova even at night time look here the beautiful church now of course it's closed because it's eight o'clock in the evening but very nice and all these streets for example here it's called the Salita di San Matteo all these streets are places where you can go and have some food look here for example some more, more restaurants and bars where you can sit on the street or even here look in front of the church di San Matteo Chiesa di San Matteo this nice cafe aperitivo wow che bello So keep going around in the historical center of Genova. Look here, they are having dinner and look how it is the room inside. Very big, some people already having dinner. But let's walk a bit on the direction of Piazza dell'Erbe. Another nice place where all people from Genova, they meet during the night. Also here in Via di San Lorenzo, look at the Capitan Balian, it's always full of people celebrating some events, especially the students, look here, very busy. Or here in Via di San Lorenzo that arrives to the Porto Antico, you will find a lot of bars where to eat. But you see the nightlife here in Genoa, it's very active. Today it's Saturday. So, of course, there are a lot of people around. But anyway, it's very active and... Uh, uh, it's a very active city also during the week. So, let's take this street now. So, I can show you some more beautiful tables where to have dinner. Thank you. Here another trattoria genovese, where you can also see it. Oh, per most of them they are still empty and now it's uh, 8 o'clock but in half an hour everything will be totally full of people wow look here and here the most active part of the city for uh, the evening so you can hear. in all these streets and they have a lot of bars 
and places where to eat. Here we have hamburgeria. Here a bar and down here Piazza dell'Erba. For example here they have some focaccia di recco for 6 euros or some pasta al pesto, different things and here Piazza Pollaioli look how beautiful is this Piazza Pollaioli as well here you have some pork spot and beers for 4 or 5 euros so the prices are very normal of course if you go in a Mission Star restaurant you will pay much more otherwise the prices are very affordable and competitive I must uh, say look here and the location are very very nice I love to have some food in one of these beautiful streets or uh, square with a lot of people around So beautiful these buildings. Look here, Vineria del Molo, guys. Amazing! Wow, look at this. Very, very nice. You go inside, you test your wine down there, or you can sit here in the middle of this small square. Wow, che bello!
and there in the giardini Luzzati look how big it is and how many different restaurants you find Wow, very nice. Stai zitto! If you want to see some prices, if you have, for example, let's say the meat from Finland at 6.5 euro per 100 grams or the pizza for example pizza re magi 12 euro and 50 pizza colonnata 14 euros but here you are really in the middle of the nightlife of genova And here, Piazza delle Erbe. We are approaching Piazza delle Erbe. This and the Giardini are the most active parts of the city of Genova, of course, also in the Antico Porto. But look here, very nice, big, lot of space, beautiful atmosphere, nice bars, and you are sitting here in the middle of the old streets of uh, Genova. So you have some focaccia, 6 euros, very good with the stracciatella for example, stracciatella cheese or with the stracchine and prosciutto crudo for 8 euros. But really a lot of... A lot of restaurants and bars. Wow. So if you want to have some street food, then Piazza dell'Erbe is the best. Otherwise, if you're looking for some restaurants to stay more relaxed, more calm, then you can go in the Porto Antico or you can find some nice restaurants in the historical 
center of uh, Genova. So now from here we go to the Porto Antico and to check it, the Porto Antico as well at night time. Now we are uh, here in the Porto Antico of uh, Genova and here also you have uh, restaurants the best restaurants are this here in front of the port in front of the aquarium you see here you have the sea and the port and then here you have the restaurants so here are different types of food that you can have like pizza or some pasta or aperitivo or drinks depends what you are looking for and here there are really many as you can see all these are restaurants where you sit outside and you have some food and the prices are normal you pay a pizza for example margherita for 8 euro or trophy al pesto for 11 euros for example so normal prices like the rest of Genova and then also there if you look around for example here on the other side of the square there are some more restaurants where you can have food so this is the Porto Antico di Genova. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of uh, Genova. So we visit many streets, many churches, many bars and the focacceria where you can have some very good food from Genova. We leave below in the description of the video all the information on how to move around, the hotels that you can book when you are here in Genova and I think you like the video, send your comments, your likes and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys. Grazie a tutti, thank you and have a good day from the beautiful city of Genova.